guys and a welcome back to the channel so i didn't film wednesday nor thursday but we're gonna try to get this video out today on friday wednesday and thursday was just a chaotic hectic kind of day um wednesday was basically wake up <laughs> shower work all freaking day get off come home usual it was boring okay i had no video and that's that so thursday which was yesterday um i was off yesterday just think of, think about me being off one day and you know i had to spend time with babe and then we went shopping for ashton my son and we went to try this barbecue spot called um da -da 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 -da. terry black's in deep ellum downtown dallas and it was okay but it wasn't like over the top you know if it was a you know one to ten rating we'll probably give it probably a six sorry but it was not all that um i did like their chopped brisket sandwich a little um the brisket was good it was a little dry little you know a little dry but um we just wasn't into it. It's not really what you call like that southern type of barbecue, like the North Carolina, South Carolina. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, it's not that type of barbecue. This just it was just really like it was good flavor. We could taste the smoky, but um it was really dry. So I really didn't even like film anything there. And babe was like, Did you film anything? I was just like, No, I didn't film anything, but I did take pictures, so I'll insert the pictures somewhere. Um, so you guys see the plate, um, but it was, it was okay. Like I said, we'll give it a six, um, because they were fast. They were quick. The service was good. Um, yeah, so that's what we did yesterday. Um, uh, really didn't do much. Um, went to Burlington, bought Ashton some shoes and two t-shirts because that's all we can find. It is so hard to find boy stuff, like my son is 10 now. Like, he needs to have, like, he loves sweats. My son do not like pants at all. He will literally tell me, like, Mom, what, what, what is this? <laughs> and my son loves sweats, and that's what he like. He like basketball shorts and sweats. So I went to go find him some sweats to go with the couple of shirts that I uh, found for him and bought for him. And um, Bay found him some nice Nike shoes at Burlington. Burlington had so much Nike, so much Adidas. Uh, it was just crazy. And then I found some Adidas shoes, you guys, um, and, or Puma shoes, and they were so freaking cute. But the only thing was, is that they looked so huge on my feet. They were my size. Any given day, I am a seven, just straight out seven. If my feet or anything swell up on me, I'm a seven and a half. When I put this, I got the seven and a half, it just looks so huge. And then I got the seven and it looks like huger and i was just like what's wrong with these shoes but anyways that was yesterday we're gonna talk about today y'all i know y'all see this little uh what we're gonna call this little uh waffle maker sitting right here i went to bed bath and beyond and bought this really nice waffle maker we'll get into that in just a moment but you guys can see i got another walmart delivery so let's get into that really quick and then we're going to talk about that waffle maker girl because I honestly love it, and um, I cannot wait to uh, make Belgian waffles. And then they have, like, little cartoon characters and hearts and stuff. But we'll get into that in just a minute. We're going to set that up and everything. Um, so let's find out what I got from Walmart. I want to say, because I love showing you guys, like, the little label thing, so that you can know that I definitely ordered it on Walmart. But lately, lately, I haven't been getting any of those little tags. Like the last two Walmart deliveries that I got, I hadn't got one of those little tags. But I can guarantee all you guys, this is a delivery because I didn't go anywhere. I got off work today and I was done. Okay, so I ordered it really fast. Uh, it's supposed to be here within three hours. And with the Walmart membership, I only pay like $12.95 and you get free delivery. Um, you do have the option to tip or not tip. I would say tip because 
um it's it's enough that the gas prices are up and food costs and stuff like that yes they are getting paid through walmart but then it also says that they get paid through a third party so we don't even know if they said they get 100 percent of the tip but how do we know you know so i do you can tip them four to nine dollars um if I have little stuff, I tip $4. If I have, like, a whole, like, over $200, I'll tip, like, $10. Um, but you can customize the tip yourself. Um, but today, I didn't really have that much. So, today, I think I tipped, like, $6. Um, but if you got, like, one or two bags, of course, $4 would be a great tip to tip. But anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and talk about this really quick. This is my favorite Snapple. My lemon. Um... It's the, it's the uh, lemon tea Snapple. It's like my favorite Snapple. And Walmart has it in a 12-pack or an 8-pack or something like that for $24. And I was just like, like, I threw my hands up because, like, $24 for 8-pack or 12-pack? No. I, I can't see myself paying for that unless I'm at Sam's and you get, like, a whole big pack and it's worth it. Um, but if these, these teas right here are hard to come by, unless you stay by a corner store by your house, they will never go up on their prices. I stay right, like probably in one minute from the corner store. I went up in there and they had these for a dollar, a dollar five or just a dollar, but they would never go up on them. So when I go back, me and babes, when I go, go probably go back tonight, I'm going to hit them up for like maybe six more because these are my favorite like teas i like to put them on ice i am trying to invest in a ice machine i do not like the ice in the the um freezer i have one of those little extension things where you can put your own ice and make your own ice in there i can't stand ice in the ice tray so i'm gonna just go ahead and invest in one of those ice maker things and just sit on the cabinet you guys know i'm into this whole minimal lifestyle journey and i'm really excited about it i I did a little tester. I want to show you guys. I did a little tester um, in my cabinet. You guys know I was trying to um, clean my cabinet out, my, my under cabinet. And I was having like the hardest time. If I can motivate you, girl, sis, bruh, brother, get up and clean. You don't got to be minimalist like me. You don't have to be minimalist like me. You can be decluttering anything. But girl, I had so much hard time, like every, like every, yeah, I want to motivate you guys to get up and start cleaning, doing something in your house, like get rid of some things. I know it's some, it's, it's got to be something in your house that you got to get rid of, like clothes, old uh, wash towels that you clean your house with, the fiber cloth towels, garage the garage need cleaning y'all know you know the garage need cleaning sis you you know it your linen closet your linen drawer your utensil drawer girl let me show you let me you think i'm playing with you this drawer right here this utensil drawer look at all that stuff in there should have been clean but look Yes, I understand we all have, like, day-to-day -day life. Like, I know that. We have kids. If we don't have kids, we go to work. You know what I mean? If we're stay-at-home moms. We still got jobs because you got to stay at home. You got to cook. You got to clean. You got to prepare the finances. Do all that good stuff. And still try to get your house done. I understand that. But at the end of the day, sis, like, I I, I don't want to come into my house and it, it's messy or it's jacked up, or it's, you know, not decluttered, you know what I mean, like, a, who wants to come to a nasty house like that, you know, not saying that your house nasty, sis, or bro, I'm just saying, there's some hoarders out here, like, no disrespect, but it is, and I used to be one of those, so I'm not ashamed, I'm not embarrassed to say it, because, man, I'm telling you, I had tons of product and things in this house, y'all got perfume and hygiene products that y'all don't even use, like, old Christmas birthday gifts that y'all don't even use, like, donate that stuff, you know, and if it's not donatable and it's out of date, then trash it, that's the only way to go, you know, but if it's like plastic bottles and stuff like that, make sure you recycle, because we're trying to, we're trying to save the planet, we're trying to, you know, we're trying to save the planet right here, but anyways, this is what I've come up with, with my under cabinet, if y'all see, so I just got, like, I took my time 
and I went on Pinterest. I found a wonderful picture that I liked. Um, I got all of my like um, fresheners back here for the couches and stuff like that. Fabric fresheners. I got some bleach. I got some Lysol because I use it in the summertime on the balcony because the bugs and the flies and stuff. But that Lysol stuff back there is like a diluted Lysol. So it works for the ants too as well. I got some hand soap back there. Got all my cleaning product here, which is only one, two, three, plus the bleach back there, four cleaning products. Then I got my house scents, which is three of those. My thing is I need to cut down on wasting money on all kinds of products. I got some um, antibacterial uh, product here. I got some window cleaner there. And then over here, I just bought this little uh, creamy caddy from Target's. From like the three dollar spot and up, they have some things that are one dollar. But and I got my um, dish soap back there, and then some more hand soap, and then some wipes for the counter. I got my towels, dish towels here, and my scrubbing pad, and my happy face, my happy mommy little scrubbing face. And then yesterday when I went to um, Burlington looking around for Ashley some to wear, I found these nice little reusable recycle. Um, um, wiping pads here too as well scrubbing pads so I was looking for more but they only had that one pot pack and then I have my little dish scrubber there um so yeah you guys like I honestly did that like after I got for work I was feeling like in the cleaning mode like where you guys were <laughs> y'all was right here but I was in the cleaning mode and so, um, I just started cleaning. Like, I really, I started cleaning, and babe was looking at me like, are you all right? And I'm just like, I'm okay, but I'm really not okay because I let all this stuff build up. So, anyways, enough about that. Let's get into this Walmart haul. I did tell you guys about this. Just go to your local corner store and purchase all you can purchase of those. Those are really good. If you haven't tried the Snapple um, Lemon Tea try because they're so good so the stuff that i got from walmart and thanks to the drivers because they all they close all the bags they like like i do when i'm at the store i close all my bags because i don't want to lose nothing so i did purchase a lot of mustard like two things of mustard two things of ketchup because we go through so much ketchup here and babe loves this ketchup um at first he did it and then he started getting used to it um so um, it's sweeter and I don't like a vinegary ketchup and this ketchup right here It's a whoo, Excuse me guy this ketchup right here this hunts tomato ketchup is Nasty it has so much vinegar in it. Like it just it's overpowering and it's nasty. So it's trash um, I was literally honestly waiting for the ketchup because it, it's already cold like it's already cold. So um I got the organic great value uh, tomato ketchup. These are really, really good to have on deck. I'm going to put one in the refrigerator and one in the cabinet up there. And then I got some of the great value uh, yellow mustard. I'm hoping that all, you all can see what I have. I should just put you guys down here because I just feel like y'all can't see what I have. It's just kind of bleary, it looks like. Um, so... I did buy, babe, some of these uh, Cabin Crunch berries. It's the mega size. He the one chose this, so he got to eat this. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to put it right here. And then I bought myself these Cocoa Puffs because I've been wanting, like, some chocolate. Um, so, instead of just having, like, Hershey chocolate and stuff like that, I just opt to get this chocolate. Um, for the series because I know I won't eat a lot of chocolate but um I thought this would be a great little thing for the morning time um and you also can you can buy those for your kids and pack them in their lunch bags um and let them have it for snack as well but then again the energy is real with kids and chocolate so uh yeah but if your kids don't have like a lot of energy then like that chocolate snack will be really good for them. It's just something simple that they can grab. I got some glazed donut sticks for in the morning as well. Especially when I'm going off to work early. I can get one of these and some coffee. Um, 
And then I just got these little nutty butters for um, just snack to snack on. These also will make great little things for the kids too when they're out of school, sis, and you take them to the park or something like that. Um, that's really good to have for them. And I bought some some ballpark hot dog buns. And then I also bought some, because we're having burgers tonight, I bought some um, ballpark burger buns as well. So I got both of these. Um, blah, blah, blah. Oh yeah, let me tell you. Went to Walmart the other day because I had to go get some other stuff like uh, the house stuff that I had to get. I had to get trash bags. I got the dish soap. And I got a few more items. And I happened to go over there by the eggs because I was like, we need some eggs. But last time I, last time we got our eggs, they were broken. Um, and so there wasn't even that much of a price difference because um, the eggs that we got were only $4. And then they were ran out of the great value. I mean, the, uh, the market... Us, the market of brown eggs. We love brown eggs, so they ran out of that, so they had to wind up getting us like the regular eggs, which was fine. And so, um, when they got here, they were all busted up, broke up, and they did give me my refund back. But when I went to Walmart this time and I checked with the eggs just to see how much they have gone up because everybody has been talking about it on the news, have been talking about it that like a whole 18 pack of eggs are $25. So I'm the type of person where I'm like, are they serious? I happened to look in that thing and it said $24, $25. I was like, oh, wow. So if you're trying to save money on eggs, like, I'm going to buy two of the, uh, let me show you. I'm going to buy two of the $4 eggs. These are the uh, 12 large. You'll have 24 eggs if you buy two of these. Um, but these are the 12 large cage-free eggs, the brown eggs from Walmart. I was really excited when I got these to the market size, but I was really excited when I got these because um I didn't I didn't um think that they would have them and they are not broken. So I'm really excited about that. The guy that they the one the guy that did it, he was really, really nice and he was like messaging me, letting me know, you know, if I need substitute anything, stuff like that. I didn't really realize that they could take you like from another phone line. Uh just letting you know that because I really don't get people that if it's need to be substituted, they'll substitute it. But he was really, really nice. So um, I got this 12 pack of eggs. But like I say, like just for advice, for $4 or something, which you're only spending like maybe nine, maybe like nine something on these eggs because they're four ninety eight or something like that. But um, you could get two of these. I would have gotten two of these, but I didn't want to be as if I was greedy or anything. So I, I just got one, wound up gotten one. And it's only, we don't really eat eggs like that. Like I'll boil them for like tuna or if I want some potato salad or like scrambled eggs. But we don't really eat eggs like this until like we're off together and we'll make like breakfast together and stuff like that. Um, so they are pretty much sitting there. Um, when we're off together, we're off together. Like we, we do breakfast and all that stuff. But lately, I'm not going to sit here and lie to y'all. Let me put this bread down. I have not been in a cooking... Like, I have not been in a cooking mood. I have not. Like, I want somebody to cook for me. Like, I don't I don't feel like cooking. And I guess that's just uh, because I'm working a lot. And when I get off, it's... it's excuse my French damn near time to go to sleep. So, I'm just like, I don't want to cook anymore. Like, I just don't. But I got some kind of energy today. Like, oh, I need to start cooking because buying stuff out and going out is really costly. When we went to Terry Black's, that bill came out to $74, honey. Mm -mm -mm. I could have taken that same $74 and paid a bill with or I could have taken that same $74 and just saved it, you know. But anywho, sometimes you, you and your boo need to treat yourself. Treat yourself. If you don't have a boo, treat yourself. If you don't have a husband or anything like that, treat yourself because Nobody's going to treat you like you treat yourself, okay? So, me and babe, we try to treat ourselves. We don't treat ourselves as much. Like, we really don't. So, this it was really good, but like I said, we gave it a six. Because the meat was kind of dry. 
And but yeah. Um, so we got some split uh split up uh great value honey wheat bread. We love this bread, the one that says love, they put love. We got that one, and I did buy us some little snacks here. I bought us some of this uh drumstick. What is it? We love chocolate cookie dip. And so it's got white chocolate with fudge, chocolate with fudge, and chocolate. So we like these. These are good. I noticed like when I buy the other ones like vanilla and then the vanilla with the caramel and then just the chocolate. Babe, don't eat the other one. He just eats the chocolate one. And then I'm a chocolate favorite fan. Like I love chocolate. So we're like fighting on over two chocolate sticks. Like who's going to get what and what was what. Like no. This time I just bought this one. So we bought the little, I bought the little drumstick one. Um, and I bought the ground beef. I haven't, we haven't been eating ground beef. We've been only eating ground turkey and, uh, chicken. And I told babe, I'm tired of chicken. I'm not tired of ground beef. Uh, I'm not tired of ground turkey. I love ground turkey, but I was tired of chicken. And that's why I said, for real, we, we, we should have some burgers tonight. So I got like a, a big thing of ground beef here. Um, we're probably gonna have he's probably gonna have a, two burgers and I'm gonna have one burger Because I don't really eat a lot of like ground beef and if I do I probably have like two of those smash burgers and Cheeseburgers and that's good. That's it. We're gonna make some smash burgers. Well, I don't make some smash burgers. Um, so I did uh, get some mini made fruit punch, but they were out so I went ahead and they substituted for berry punch, which is, I mean, all the same. It tastes all the same. Um, so he, since they were out of the one that I wanted, he went ahead and most of the time when they're out of the fruit punch, they always grab me two for the price of one. So I got two of them. So I basically paid for one and just got one for free since they were out. And he has to substitute it. Um, I got some, oh gosh, this looks great. It should be our like little Walmart delivery, and I will, girl, I will, will refer him to y'all because gosh, he got some good freaking shredded lettuce. Most of the time when I get shredded lettuce, it does not look like this. Look at it; it looks really nice, and I can't wait to dive in. That looks really good. Um, and then I got two tomatoes. I love these little Roman tomatoes; they're so good, and um, they're sweet but not too sweet. So. What else do I have? Oh, I got some. I got some milk. Just a one and a half gallon of milk for the cereal. Should have got a big one, but I think there's already one in the fridge. We gotta drink that up. And then this, this right here, um, because I have almond milk in there, but um, I can drink that too as well. It doesn't make my stomach hurt. It's just a regular milk that kills my stomach. Uh, I got my favorite Tropicana uh, Caribbean Sunset. This is my favorite juice. I love it. It's really good. And I'm recommending it to all my mamas out there. All my mamas, all my daddies who need just a little, you know, wait a, wait a minute. Y'all know nothing about these though. Who just need a little drink, a little drink, a little drink. I'm not saying put much in it. I'm just saying you might have had a hard day at work, sis, and you just need something just to relax you, okay? Just put you a little bit of that in there. Or put you some wine, mix the wine up with it. Have you a little slushy, get you, you know how you do, you know how to do it. Don't act like you don't know how to do it. Yeah, that's yeah. That's so good with that. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> and I got me and babe some chips. I got babe some Doritos. He wanted them, so I grabbed them for him. Or the driver grabbed them for him. And then I wanted some of these, but I didn't want a big bag, so I got just a little bag that I can just have on it. These are the Cheeto Puff Flamin' Hot ones. Really good. Then... Uh, this is the last bag, you guys. And then we can go right into our waffle maker. Let's see what I got for my waffle maker. Um, I got the Craft Singles American Cheese. 
from this song. I think it's 16 count, yeah. And then I got some more of the honey smoked turkey breast. I love this. It's my favorite. Um, I eat it on my salads. I eat it on a sandwich. I can eat it by itself with some. Have y'all got a turkey roll up? Uh, or either a turkey or a ham roll up. You just put take the turkey, put like maybe four or five slices, maybe six. Um, spread them all out. Put your spinach, if you like spinach, some onions, you like onions, cheese, um, and either some regular cream cheese or like some garden veggie cream cheese. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I got some skinless beef sausage, smoked sausages for our spaghetti because I'm going to probably make spaghetti uh, one day this week. And then I got myself some Eckerich cheddar smoked sausage um, for the morning times. Because sometimes me and my uh, my work mom, we go to, because we, we ride share because we have to, since my rec original job closed down, we just been ride sharing because some of the places that we're going to back and forth to work to, it's like maybe 40 miles, 30 miles. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, so we normally in the morning time go to 7-Eleven, get a cup of coffee or some hot dogs. And I thought that I should just buy my hot dog and save some money because though the, the, I'll get coffee at 7-Eleven because you can get like six cups of coffee. And you're, oh, you can get, yeah, six cups of coffee and your next coffee is free. Or you can get, like, money off your coffee when you get coffee. But I wound up getting, like, a hot dog or some sort from there, like the big bites. And it's getting a little pricey, okay? Um, but today all I got was coffee and a hot dog and a bag of chips. And I was just like, you know what? I'm going to start just prepping my own stuff in the morning time if I want a hot dog in the morning time. Sis, look, I got it here now. And that's all that matters. So, uh, tonight, I'll just warm up the hot dog, put it in a plastic little bag. I forgot some Ziploc bag. Put it in a little napkin or something like that, and then just save it for tomorrow in the morning. And, yeah, on our journey, I'll just eat it because it's getting a little pricey, okay? So, this is the waffle maker um, that I got at Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, and I really like this this waffle maker. It goes with my kitchen theme, so and it goes with my whole minimalist lifestyle. So it's just a waffle maker all in one. The waffle makers that I do have is one big Belgian waffle one maker and then one small but small waffle maker. So I'm gonna keep the mini one and then uh, donate the other one that I have. So we're gonna go ahead and open this box and see what's all inside. And the shipping on this is really, really good, you guys. I got like a little, um, a little pamphlet book on, you know, recipes and stuff or how to clean that waffle maker. And so we're gonna get this out the box if I don't break anything. Waffle maker out the box. We have a return shipping label just in case it doesn't work. Something happens to it. Y'all know. It's packed nicely, you guys. Like, like I said, it came really fast. I order it one day and the next day it came super quick. I just think this is going to be great for my son. Um, for us to experience how to make Belgian waffles properly and then also it's gonna give us a lot of time together in the kitchen so on one side of the waffle maker it has this original I hope you guys can see it has this original waffle plate um, they had it covered and then you can switch out the waffle plate um, once I take this apart I'm gonna wash it um, and so it switches out. It has its power on button where you can set it um, from medium, I mean, from you know, uh, medium to high cook. And then it has its ready light, its power light, just so you know that it's working, it's functioning. And then look, you guys, I got another little um, waffle maker plate. It has like a little fire truck, an owl, a unicorn. Oh, this is so cute for me. And then a heart for like Valentine's Day, you guys. 
um anyways i love these and i cannot wait to share this and make the waffles um with ashton because my son would like this one um and then he's into owls a little bit but he's not into owls like i am i love the who um and i'll make him some heart pancakes as well and i'm sure he'll make me heart pancakes but i thought this was really cool to do with the uh really cool to do with my son and then babe too as well um especially when we have breakfast we love belgian waffles so um i'm just really excited to make them and then the fact that these this um i don't know if it comes off right i don't know because i haven't read it yet but um the fact that when you go over the spill with the belgian waffles you guys know with a regular waffle um maker you go over it's like coming all down so this is going to train me and teach me how to make proper waffles without it spilling out so um in order for it to spill out you have to put like extra batter in there um but anyways that's our new waffle maker and i am so excited because it just goes with the theme and i can put it back here and it's just there um so i'm gonna go ahead and wash that off camera and all that good stuff but i hope you guys enjoyed our walmart video and me rambling and talking to you guys um and then also get motivated sis and bros get decluttered get your house in order um and all that good stuff too as well but anyways if you guys want some candles definitely check out my website um pretty glam babe candlecode.com that's pretty glam babe candlecode.com um i'm going to be adding some more candles there and i'm going to actually go down on the price to like 15 bucks um because I, me personally i don't want to buy a 22 dollar candle um and i i you know i have to do my little research and i'm a first time business owner so i do my little research and i'm just like no i'm not gonna have my sisters and brothers paying that much for you know a candle they're 10 ounce candles in cool jar jars and i'm also working on some other things too as well to add to my website so if you guys want to buy some candles, um, definitely uh, do so. And I'll see you in the next video, you guys. Bye.